Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with national handball team player Mehdi Saad and expressed his deepest condolences on the demise of his father before the final match against South Korea. His Majesty expressed pride in his honorable stunts and his efforts in ensuring the win of the Bahraini team and qualifying to Tokyo Olympics 2020. His Majesty affirmed that this stance reflects the player's keenness to continue his national duty. He praised his role and efforts and expressed his deep condolences. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today the President of the che of Chechnya, Ramadan Ahmed Qadirov, on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom. His Majesty thanked the Chechen President for visiting Bahrain to attend the International Defense Exhibition and Conference, BIDEC, hailing the development of Bahraini Chechen relations in various fields, especially cultural and economic. His Majesty the King and the Chechen President expressed pride in the course of cooperation and coordination, and His Majesty affirmed. Bahrain's keenness on bolstering bilateral ties and establishing their pillars for the interest of the two countries. His Majesty congratulated the President on opening the Prophet Muhammad Mosque in Shali, Chechnya to become an architectural masterpiece that reflects the values of Islam that is based on principles of tolerance and moderation. He highlighted the efforts of the Chechen President in increasing cooperation with various Islamic countries. The two sides discussed a number of topics of joint interest and and regional and international developments. For his part, the Chechen president expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, affirming his pride in His Majesty's efforts and support to develop fraternal ties. His Royal Highness Crown Prince Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadabiya Palace and Secretary General Yasser al Nasser delivered the following statement. His Royal Highness praised the inauguration of the second edition of BIDEC today that is held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He welcomed the participants and wished the organizing committee success. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of hosting the event, making Bahrain a center for businesses, exhibition and the high-profile events on the global level. His Royal Highness then hailed the results of his visit to Japan and attending the enthronement ceremony of His Majesty the Emperor Naruhito and meeting the Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. He stressed the importance of that visit to enhance the bilateral cooperation and at the same time praised the strong relations between the two countries and the keenness of both countries to further bolster these relations. His Royal Highness then praised the achievements of the kingdom in the sports sector such as Bahrain winning the world title of the seventh military football championship in China and the qualification of Bahrain handball team to Tokyo Olympics 2020. He praised the efforts of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and hailed the efforts of the Bahraini youth in making these honorable achievements. The cabinet then praised the role of Saudi Arabia and the support of the UAE in the arrangement of the Riyadh agreement between between the Yemeni government and the Transitional Council, which reflects the joint keenness to achieve security and stability and to establish peace in Yemen and maintain its unity.
The cabinet discussed a draft law regulating the press and media and reviewed the recommendations of the Ministerial Committee for Social, Telecommunications, Media and Youth, chaired by Deputy Prime Minister Zahana Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa in this regard. The cabinet reviewed a report on the Kingdom's performance in the World Bank's Doing Business of 2020 report. The meeting approved the Ministry of Interior represented by Customs Affairs signing an agreement on mutual recognition of the application of the approved economic operator with Saudi Arabia's General Customs Authority. The session approved the Charter of Cooperation between OPEC and non-OPEC producers in the field of oil production and consumption and appointed the Minister of Oil to sign it. The Cabinet followed up on 115 projects under implementation worth 371 million Bahraini dinars in the roads, sewage and building sectors. It also reviewed the tenders that were issued and awarded during the current year and decided to continue discussions in a future session in the light of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The session approved an MOU regarding the executive work program between the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunication and the UAE General Civil Aviation Authority. According to constitutional and legal procedures, the Cabinet referred two draft laws to the Council of Representatives on amending some provisions of Decree Law No. 15 of 2002 on the Shura and Representatives Councils and on the system of electing members of municipal councils. The Cabinet reviewed four ministerial reports, the first on the results of the 12th summit of the non-aligned movements, the second on the results of the Munich Security Conference core group meeting, the third on the results of the annual meetings of the World Bank Group and the International Monetary Fund, and the fourth on the results on, of the 22nd meeting of GCC Ministers of Municipalities. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today inaugurated the second edition of BIDEC. Held under the patronage of His Majesty the King, this year's BIDEC attracted over 200 companies showcasing the latest defense technology and innovation. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was welcomed by the Commander in Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, Ibiria, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed. Ahmed Al Khalifa, Defense Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, BDF's Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagir Al Naimi, National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, and the Head of the High Organizing Committee of BIDEC, His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as a number of senior guests attending BIDEC. The Crown Prince highlighted Bahrain's ongoing success in hosting international events, including BIDEC and underscored the importance of strengthening global defense coordination. His Royal Highness noted that security challenges call for concerted efforts to continue to develop the use of emerging technology in the military field. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain will continue to work alongside its international partners to strengthen regional and global security, recognizing that these partnerships continue to enhance the BDF's combat readiness. He underscored Bahrain's efforts in providing an environment which stimulates creativity and promotes innovation across key sectors, creating new opportunities for citizens and helping the kingdom achieve its sustainable development goals. His Royal Highness commented on the positive effects of innovation such as strengthening economic competitiveness and spurring job creation across key sectors in line with the principles of sustainability, competitiveness and fairness enshrined within Bahrain's economic vision of 2030. His Royal Highness Highness also noted that upskilling the military remains a key component of His Majesty's directives to further expand Bahrain's military readiness. In this regard, His Royal Highness outlined His Majesty's strong support to the BDF, which continues to ensure its combat readiness and efficiency. His Royal Highness concluded by expressing pride in the BDF for their efforts in hosting another successful BIDEC and reserved special praise for His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his efforts.
The second edition of Biotech opens today, attracting over the course of three days more than 200 exhibitors to demonstrate hardware and equipment and to be seen on a high profile and international stage. Biotech is becoming bigger and better, more companies, more countries, more delegation. And I think this is not uh, strange for us. Uh, it's normal for Bahrainis to organize such big events. Bahrain proved that we, can, we are able to attract international companies uh, and countries also uh, to attend our uh, exhibition. 2017 was a great success for Bidic and we look forward and anticipate that this year's um, exhibition will also be a, a further success. Uh, it gives a wonderful opportunity to all the respective exhibitors from all parts of the globe um, uh, gathering here in Bahrain to exhibit the latest technology, be it for uh, artillery, uh, military technology, uh, maritime uh, matters. Exhibitors are given a chance to network with over 10,000 international defense industry visitors at Bahrain's only tri-service defense exhibition. We are representing India Pavilion and we are very enthralled here to see the different kind of organizations which we are participating. So we are here to offer all those products of DRDO as well as we are here to interact with all the different participating nations and achieve and learn something from them. This is a good opportunity actually to show what we have and also to learn and to exchange information with international companies within the defense industry. This conference and exhibition is really one of the unique uh, event in the region. Uh, it will maintain, will taken care of. Uh, it hosts a lot of international brands and international names. We can see them everywhere in the booths, either from the GCC or from uh, region or from international representation. WIDEC is a wonderful platform. It gives us the opportunity of meeting clients from all over the world that ordinarily we would struggle to potentially meet face to face. It gives them the ability to look at a range of vehicles that we have on display here today and for the next three days. We display 15 companies under the UAE Pavilion today and they are reflecting different uh, sectors on the defense and security uh, on different uh, level of the products and defense and security sectors. Good platform for an international gathering. We see our clients, we see our competitors, we also see our uh, business partners. So it's a good platform to be here and discuss any be uh, needs and future business opportunities. BIDIC 2019 provides a perfect platform for regional and international defense forces to showcase their tri-service revolutionary products and facilities. Today opens the second edition of BIDIC gathering exhibitors from all over the world to showcase the latest technology, equipment and hardware across land, sea and air. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Zahana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today with the Chechen President, Ramadan Ahmad Ghadirov, and the President of the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Zahana Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, during Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference by DEC. Zahana Sheikh Nasser conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Chechen President and hailed the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Chechnya, which have witnessed a tremendous development in light of the directives of His Majesty the King to bolster Bahraini-Chechen cooperation in various fields. His Highness affirmed that such meetings and participations are proof of the development of relations through joint coordination. For his part, the Chechen President expressed thanks and appreciation for the warm welcome, commending the deep-rooted relations between Chechnya and Bahrain in various fields. He also praised the Kingdom's progress, lauding the success of the event that are held held in Bahrain, including Bidek. At the end of the meeting, the Chechen president presented His Highness Sheikh Nasser with a commemorative gift. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with a number of military officials during BIDEC 2019. His Highness welcomed the officials and stressed the importance of this event to exchange expertise and discuss a number of topics on the military field and ways to strengthen partnerships. The officials expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser and praised the organizing of the event and affirmed 
the importance of it, especially that it gathers a number of military figures in one place, in addition to various participating companies who are exhibiting their developed military equipments. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, national security advisor and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, conveyed the condolences of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the handball national team's player Mahdi Saad for the passing of his father. His Highness was keen on attending the funeral where His Highness met the player to convey His Majesty's condolences to him and his family and to pray for God's mercy on the deceased. His Highness hailed the player's honorable decision to remain with the national team during the Asia tournament despite the passing of his father, which affirms the player's keenness on performing his national duty and on being a model of example in sacrifice and loyalty. For his part, Mehdi Saad expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty the King and His Highness and affirmed that the kind words of His Majesty have reduced his pain and that he takes pride and is highly appreciative of His Highness's visit. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Chechen president, Ramadan Ahmad Qadirov, upon his arrival to Bahrain to attend BIDEC. The president exchanged with the Chechen president friendly talks on the deep rooted relations between the two countries. His Highness Sheikh Khalid conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty the King to the Chechen president and his wishes of further progress and prosperity to Chechnya. His Highness welcomed the guests noting his keenness on participating in the event, which stems from the two countries' cooperation. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Bahrain International Airport the delegation of the handball national team who returned to the kingdom following the conclusion of its participation in the qualification tournament to Tokyo Olympic Games. His Highness expressed pride in the honorable results achieved by the team, highlighting the historic achievements in which the first Bahraini team qualifies for the Olympics. He wished the team success in making further achievements.
On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy, P Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa paid a visit yesterday to the Thakir, Vaidia, Asarpota, Batia and Kawalram families to mark Diwali. His Highness Sheikh Isa began by conveying the greetings of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion. He highlighted that in line with the vision of His Majesty the King, Bahrain has continually reinforced its position as a role model for coexistence and cultural diversity. He noted that the kingdom has long promoted these noble principles, adding that cultural dialogue encourages development and maintains harmony among communities. His Highness stressed Bahrain's tireless efforts to consolidate a culture of mutual respect, highlighting a range of far-reaching initiatives to promote the values of coexistence and moderation globally. He concluded by praising the role played by the families in supporting the kingdom's social and economic development. The families expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness and His Highness praising the kingdom's commitment to the values of coexistence and diversity.
The events of the Bidek 2019 exhibition have launched under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and as a result of the organizing efforts of the High Organizing Committee of Bidek, which is headed by His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The exhibition represents a key platform upon which 60 countries participate in support of the defense industry. The events of the exhibition include discussions of a variety of key topics as well through the Middle East Military Technology Conference, MEMTEC. BIDEC 2019 represents a major success story for the kingdom with its current diplomatic policy under the leadership of His Majesty the King, where optimal organizational environments are in offer and international alliances are enacted in the service of security, peace and stability. The second edition of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference BIDEC, which opened today, gathered around 11,000 visitors and officials from around the world. More in this report. BIDEC 2019 hosted country pavilions from the UK, France, USA, UAE, Pakistan, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, India and Korea, with a total of 63 visiting delegations and 160 exhibitors from 33 countries. Really, really excited and, uh, and uh, humbled and honored to be here at BIDEC 2019. This is actually my second time in Bahrain. I was at the, uh, the last Bahrain Air Show and really enjoyed my time there. It's a great show, as is BIDEC. Um, we're very proud of our longstanding 40-year partnership with the Kingdom of Bahrain. Um, as you may know, Bahrain was, our first, was the first F-16 customer in the Gulf region and also our very first uh, F-16 Block 70 customer. So we're very proud of both of those uh, milestones and our long-standing long partnership with, uh, with Bahrain. The IDEX platform is for us a very good platform since uh, Bahrain Defense Force has been a customer from uh, Rheinmetall Air Defense in Switzerland for 30 years almost. And these systems, like you see in the back of me, they have been in service here for a very long time. And uh, today, it has been very important, as shown in the conflict here in the region, how important such systems are. Gun systems to fire against drones, small targets, and that's what we are representing here. So BIDEX, BIDEX is on the right moment for us to promote in the region what we can do to these systems that have been in service for such a long time. More than 200 companies took part in this year's expo, which is Bahrain's only tri-service defense exhibition, and the number of visitors is expected to increase by 11% over the course of three days compared to 2017. This area, uh, we, are, we are active on the, this uh, market, and uh, this area is uh, very interesting, very interesting for us, we are very interesting for clients and their needs, and we are here to help them fulfill all, all their needs. Last year is a success, but uh, this year, uh, as I see, is uh, even more crowded on the uh, much, much more area and uh, much more people, much more clients. This is not the first time that CADB has uh, participated as exhibitors on the BIDEC. We have participated in 2017 and here we are again in 2019. BIDIC had proved to be a very good platform for us as a defense industry. We at CADB are uh, catering for all the defense needs in the region and in Jordan when it comes to uh, development and improving the defense machinery. The high-level conference has proven to be a powerful gateway to hear key decision makers from the government, military and defense sectors creating a platform to discuss innovation, solutions and areas of collaboration. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. For more on BIDEC 2019, Bahrain International Television will have a special program following the news. Meanwhile, the ambassador of the U.S. to Bahrain, Justin Siberel, was recently welcomed by Gulf Air's executive management at Bahrain International Airport and toured the airline's flagship aircraft, the Boeing 7879 Dreamliner, which recently entered the airline's fleet on the 70th anniversary. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Gulf Air recently received its newest Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner, aiming to accommodate for longer flights and reach new destinations. 
As part of the Discover America Week, the U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, Justin Sebrill, this morning toured the flagship aircraft and explored its state-of-the-art facilities and features, along with Gulf Air's executive management, members from the U.S. Embassy, the American Chamber of Commerce in Bahrain, Boeing Company and local media. Uh, we're here as part of our Discover America Week um, celebration, and uh, this year we're focusing on transportation, logistics, and tourism in particular. So there's no better way to do so than to uh, have an opportunity to see the newest 787 Dreamliner that uh, has joined the Gulf Air Fleet. This is the seventh uh, 787 of 10, we expect, with the 10th uh, coming during uh, year 2020. Uh, and we're very excited to see uh, this relationship between a great Bahraini company, Gulf Air, and a great American company, Boeing, who've had a long uh, relationship together. As Gulf Air celebrates its 70th anniversary next year, it expands its fleet and network to serve the Kingdom of Bahrain and customers with superior products and services. This is the beginning, of course, of our, in a way, of our celebration of 70 years of the company. So, in light of, of uh, this aircraft, which represents as well whole program, uh, as a witness, uh, strong economic ties between the two countries, uh, and also it is, uh, in a way, uh, reflects our our strategy to uh, prove passengers the best uh, possible service. So, this this aircraft uh, definitely is a, is, a, is a game changer for us, and uh, for the passenger choice uh, uh, when they when they choose uh, uh, airline to travel with it was a great opportunity to celebrate the long-term economic bond between the kingdom of bahrain and the united states of america moreover discuss long-term network expansion plans we took his excellency on board he had a look at the seats we have the golden falcons he was very impressed by uh, the quality of the seats, the size of the screens and what the airplane can do. We showed him the lights and the different functions that the aircraft has as well as the crew rest area. We're very pleased to be partners with the United States since 1977. We have operated different aircraft starting with 737s and then we operated the 767s and now the 787. Gulf Air currently operates seven Dreamliners, and by the end of 2020, it will receive three more, making them a sum of 10 Boeing 787-9 Dreamliners. We've just taken a tour now inside the new Boeing Dreamliner 787 with His Excellency, the U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain. It's the new addition to Gulf Air's fleet. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar.